Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir. Um, Parliament um, approved this particular law, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, in December of last year. On the 11th of December, it was assented to. By way of background, Mr. Speaker, sir, this is, of course, to address the issues emanating from the uh, economic contraction and, of course, the shutting down of the borders uh, because of COVID-19 last year. It had a deleterious impact on the uh, tourism sector. Of course, a lot of uh, people uh, have become uh, unemployed. Uh, some people have got reduced hours. We put in place a number of measures in place uh, specifically to do with financial institutions. We had meetings with, uh, for example, higher purchase companies, Mr. Speaker, sir, and also banks. And a particular moratorium uh, was given by the banks. There was also uh, identification of uh, loans that would actually go bad, whether they were personal loans, etc. And higher purchase companies also gave a particular amount of time for reprieve for those who actually had higher purchase agreements. Um, consequently, that uh, had ended that arrangement, and the arrangement in respect of homes was going to end in March of this year. We were specifically concerned about those people who had home mortgages, in particular those who were owning the first homes, and uh, so therefore this law was put in place. The law specifically, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, allows or states, as I've got the law here, that uh, the mortgage or and the mortgagee must try and reach some agreement uh, to ensure that the, the owner of the home actually does not lose the home. Uh, in particular, those people, that we know that they were couples, both of them were working, and uh, um, in some cases, if you are both of you are flight attendants, you no longer have a job, or you worked in a hotel, you may not have had a job, and if you had a home mortgage, then you would have difficulties in making your mortgage repayments. The law essentially allows Mr. Speaker sir, uh, um, and persuades the banks to ensure that they give these people enough time to help uh, make ends meet. In the event that there is a uh, eventuality that repayment has to be made, then the banks uh, can, with the approval of FNPF, we have to make an amendment to the FNPF Act, where these individuals can then access not only the general account, but also the preserved account. And as we know, Mr. Speaker, sir, that you cannot access your preserved account unless you're actually purchasing your first home. In many instances, these individuals actually had already accessed the FNPF account to purchase their first home, get their mortgage, but this gave them a second bite of the cherry. So they could get up to 50% of the total, number of, uh, total amount of the FNPF funds that they had. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, we've got an update, uh, which I understand what the honorable member must be uh, looking for. Um, as of yesterday, the 24th of May, the fund has received 275 applications for home loan assistance under this particular program. They've paid out 155 applications, totaling $1.64 million. 70% uh, of these were from members' preserved accounts. The 155 applications that came through, uh, 13 were from Housing Authority. These were the ones that were approved. Uh, 52 from BSP, 21 from HFC Bank, 1 from Bread Bank, 39 from Westpac, and 29 from ANZ. Uh, the banks and lenders have provided FNPF a list of the 1,575 members, Mr. Speaker, sir, who have moratoriums with them. About 900 of these members have collected their COVID-19 eligibility statements, uh, equal 100% general account plus 50% of the PA uh, preserved account balance from the FNPF. Mr. Speaker, sir, given the uh, recent lockdown in the urban centers in Viti Levu and the inability to travel and make necessary arrangements, the FNPF board is considering extending the deadline for applications, which is due to close at the end of this month. So we hope to extend it to more people because some people have not been obviously, for example, Nandi Lotoka, even if you're living on the other side of, the, of that creek near Roops. Uh, FNPF has dedicated a uh, team working to assist members with the COVID-19 Response Home uh, Housing Loan Assistance Act. And all efforts are being taken to assist members to save their home uh, as well too. Thank you.